What up, though? It's your boy DJ Star back with another unboxing. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still pushing for those 500 subscribers. So I'm not going to hold your head on this one. We're going to get right into it. As you see, you have the standard Air Jordan 1 box. Black outside, red Nike, you know what I'm saying? Emblem and all that good stuff. And then um, we're going to pop it open real fast. And we look at the shoe, and the shoes work. did come individually wrapped. You got two different sides of paper. And um, I guess I'll show you that why here in a minute. But also, what's important in this box is that you have a quality control stamp right there. So we're going to get right into this review. Um, some people are excited about it. Some people so much not so, but but we gonna jump off into it. So here we go. The Air Jordan 1 Gore-Tex. I did not look at the, um, I did not look at the color description on these. I'm sorry, y'all, I did not look. But uh, this is the first one. It's supposed to be a, a total of two that's dropping. So this is the very first one. And um, I don't really know what to say. I'm definitely not going for it, but it has some unique attributes that I think is dope. So we'll go over those in the video. So as always, let's start at the bottom. You got your standard Air Jordan 1 traction, as you can see right there. And um, done pretty clean. And I actually, to be honest with you, I like this little part right here. I don't know what it's supposed to symbolize, but I like the way it looks, how it, it sticks out right here. And it's like, kind of like you step in the snow or something. Um, remember your Air Jordan 1 does have a um, air, air unit only in, in, I mean in the heel only right here and this is um, trapped in China EVA wedge but it's right here so you got one air unit right there then you look at the top of it they also got where you got your part of the stars they got that same texture and now that I'm feeling it actually this rubber right here this clean um, rubber or whatever you want to call it um, this feels a lot tackier on my fingers than this rubber right here. I like the way they did that transition on that. That's really nice, but it feels a little bit tackier. Like it's a little bit more grippier. Um, but I mean, if it's Gore-Tex, you know, it's probably for the snow, right? So as we go up to the upper, and um, let me not forget that you got the um, guaranteed to keep your keep you dry Gore-Tex um, symbol and a um, little booklet right here that you can go to a website or something, do something on here. Just saying it's waterproof. And you can tell from the waterproof, and if I jump ahead a little bit to the um, right here, these these um, perforation holes, usually for breathability, is not open at all. So this is all closed off. So when you get to the um, midsole, it is a nice white midsole. Um, kind of looks a little sailish, but it's really white. I'm going to look at the colorway and, and let y'all know. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, I'm going to at least put it in the description of this video. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not actually, I'm going to put it in the video. Sorry. And then you get to the upper right here. And this is where it gets really unique for this shoe. So right here is a really, really nice, great new buck. I mean, when you feel this black part, it feels amazing. I mean, like it's butter soft. It is really clean right here. You can even, maybe you can see that in the video a little bit. You see how it's changing colors as I stroke it. So it's really a premium, nice um, grade of new buck. And maybe it should be because this shoe is releasing, um, I want to say December 4th, um, 2020. And it's retailing for $200. So they charging you an extra $30 to get this Gore-Tex with the branding. And I guess they wanted you to get your money's worth because you can feel a lot of great new buck here. But this part, this part feels like, um, I want to say like a nylon but maybe not a nylon um it kind of give me the texture of those air jordan one psgs from a few years ago um neoprene maybe that's maybe that's neoprene i'm not sure um but it just feels kind of scratchy and then here you go this is the part that really jumped out to me y'all know if you've been watching this channel any other time shoes with 3m on it. i love it so this suit swoosh is just all 3m but if you get real close, you can see that over right here in the edge, it's glued on. You can see the glue stains from the glue pressing out from under it. It's glued on. It's not a leather or a new buck or any kind of thing like that on the Nike swoosh. It's just really a piece of 3M um, glued on to it in the Nike swoosh. But the Gore-Tex is done in the, in the same um, 3M and your Air Jordan 1 logo is done in 3M as well. So that's a dope touch. But what I don't like is when you get up on it and you feel it, it's not really pressed in well. It's like it's, I won't say glued on, just like it's painted on to this new butt. And I don't know if that will last. It feels really sketchy, like it would just rub off of you, you know, constantly touching it or peeling on it or putting it on. You know how you pull your shoes up and grab it in. So you want to be on the lookout for that. That's kind of awkward in itself. 
But then you get on the back, you got this nice gray new buck. It's not as premium feeling as this on the toe box and around here, you know, on the overlays, but it's still a nice, it's still a, still a nice fabric. You get to the medial side of the shoe and you got more of the same, just that new buck right here. Actually on the collar as well and parts right here, it feels like, the, yeah, it's the same new buck. So this right here, new buck they use for here and here, here is right here and right here as well. It's a really nice touch on that. And I think that's one of the parts I dig the most. And then when you get to the tag, it's interesting. Um, it says Nike Air, like you're all Air Jordan 1s, but they stitched it further down. So you get some of that writing and stuff right here. And then when you look at the back of it, how far up it is on the back. And then if you look on the inside, they put some kind of sheen in this padding. And um, this padding is really thick for Air Jordan 1s, which is a really nice touch. So this looks like it'll be super comfortable. You get into the inside of the shoe, um, one shoe has Nike Air, but the other shoe has Gore-Tex, as you can see there. So I thought that was really a dope touch to give you something different. Ain't nobody gonna see that, but it's still a dope touch. And um, what else I thought was interesting about the shoe, they put the actual size tag like literally right here. You usually gotta dig in the shoe in here to see it, but they put it right by the ankle. So uh, y'all should be able to see that clearly. But if you cannot, it says these were um, produced from 05-26-21 to 08-4-21. So two and a half month size run is pretty decent. So these might not be as limited as I thought they would be, but they're coming out this Saturday. So you might want to put in your raffles now or get that together. How are they doing it? Cause I ain't really seen too many raffles on it. Um, so you might want to call stores to see what they're doing in, inside. And also they didn't give you any um, shoe tree. They just gave you, you know, cotton. So I don't know. I mean, I have cotton with tissue paper. So tell me what you think down below of the Air Jordan 1 Gore-Tex. Are you going after it or what you going to do with it? I don't know, man. I mean, it's definitely, I love Air Jordan 1s, but it's definitely not a shoe for me. But it looks really comfortable with the extra padding and the materials, but it's just not for me. I'm just not in to the color scheme actually. I could actually deal with it if it was a different color scheme, maybe all black with a silver, all black with a white or something like that. But I'm pretty sure if you into Gore-Tex, it's the reason why they chose this green and colors because that's probably what you get on your Gore-Tex boots and stuff anyway. But other than that, man, drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of the Air Jordan 1 Gore-Tex High OG. And with that being said, we're going to get up out of here. As always, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow, and I'm still pushing for those 500 subscribers. So with that being said, as always, love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.